Dang it, Darlene. I just don't love you anymore. This whole time, it's been a fart. Cut, cut, no, no. The line is, it has been a farce. It has been a farce. Well, I just can't get into this with these clinically sterile lenses. Oh. Whoa, hey man. Got your brand new vintage lens right here for you, bro. Check it out. Our prayers have been answered. No more <laughs> sterile modern lenses with no character. <sighs> Is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> more and more films and series these days are going back in time to film with vintage lenses for a more analog, softer, and dirtier feel. The Batman is one film that sticks out as well as the fourth season of Stranger Things. These lenses are completely unattainable for the budget filmmaker at hundreds of thousands of dollars for a complete set of vintage cinema lenses. But what if I told you you could get the exact same look with a complete cinema set of lenses for the price of one modern photography lens? Too good to be true? Well, grab a cocktail or a soda pop because you're about to learn something. Throughout the late 70s to early 90s, and even recently, the K35 lenses have been used on many classic and recent films that we love. Films like American Hustle, Aliens, The Handmaid's Tale, Westworld, Barry Lyndon, Her, and many more. Canon K35 prime lenses have been rediscovered and are becoming extremely popular vintage lenses these days due to how easily they flare. Their subtle, extra creamy look and forgiving rendition of skin, along with lower contrast quality, have a very organic, natural feel. The image is softer, warmer, and dreamier than modern lenses. Their incredibly fast apertures at between T1.3 and T1.5 allow for a very shallow depth of field. However, coming in at an average price tag of $200,000 for a five-piece set, the Canon K35s are some of the most expensive prime lenses that you can buy, vintage or modern. And yet, the original Canon K35 primes were adapted from the original design and glass of the photographic a spherical Canon FD lenses from the late 1970s and 80s, which can be purchased online through eBay at various vintage camera stores around the world for a fraction of the price. If you're willing to seek them out and modify them, you could have an almost indistinguishable full set of K35s and their signature look for less than $2,000. My vintage FD cinema lens set was created by searching on eBay over the course of a few months in order to find the very best condition and price I could find. After assembling them all together, I bought filter step-up rings to take them all to a 67 millimeter filter thread. Then I attached my favorite magnetized filter holders to them to allow me to switch ND and mist filters on the fly super quickly. In order to use them with my Nucleus Nano follow focus from Tilta, I went on Etsy and had custom made 3D printed focus rings, manufactured for each lens at the different circumferences needed per lens. To polish off the look, I bought lens caps on Amazon and focal length stickers from Alpha GVRD. Finally, they're all housed inside my Nanook 918 lens case. Soon, I should be receiving my new DJI RS3 Pro gimbal, along with their new next generation LiDAR rangefinder which will allow me to have autofocus on these manual lenses in situations where the camera's moving and pulling focus could be very difficult. I'll be uploading a video about that setup soon once I put it all together. So please like and subscribe to the channel for all the upcoming budget movie making goodness. For now, please enjoy this montage of beautiful footage shot with my Canon FD vintage set, giving me that Hollywood level K35 prime look at a tiny fraction of the cost.